Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, many people looking at the government's uh, extraordinary response to COVID-19 uh, have asked themselves three questions. One, uh, does the government know something we don't uh, with regard to some horrifying information about the long-term lethality of COVID-19? Uh, something so horrifying they feel they simply can't tell us uh, lest they stampede a traumatised population uh, over a mental cliff edge. Uh, two, is the government filled with inadequate incompetence who have sort of magisteriously ballsed everything up in a otherwise honest attempt to contain a deadly pandemic? Or three, uh, is the government engaged in some sinister long-term agenda along the lines of the Great Reset or China's social credit dictatorship, uh, either of which, uh, coincidentally, enables them to hold eternal emergency power uh, while simultaneously filling their Swiss bank accounts with millions and millions of golden crumbs uh, falling from the, the multi-billion dollar Covid cake. And a video uh, recently emerged which enables us to come to a reasonable conclusion here. Uh, it shows Conservative MP Jacob Rees-Mogg uh, laughing about the whole thing at a 2020 Christmas party. A party they felt able to throw uh, despite locking everyone else away for their own good. Uh, here it is. I see we're all here obeying regulations, aren't we? I mean, this party is not going to be investigated by the police in a year's time. You are all, you are all very carefully socially distanced. <laughs> We've moved, I'm pleased to tell you, from the metric back to the imperial system. I know you were at least two inches. <laughs> this video, combined with all sorts of other hypocritical actions taken by our uh, politicians and journalists, tells us very powerfully and unarguably tells us uh, that those who've driven the fear, uh, uh, the fear and terror about a deadly pandemic don't personally fear it at all. Not one little bit, not one iota. And this means the first two questions can now be answered. They clearly don't know something horrifying about uh, COVID-19 that we don't, and they are clearly uh, not a bunch of inadequate incompetence doing their best in combating a deadly public health pandemic because they clearly don't think uh, that such a pandemic actually exists. If they did, if they really did, they wouldn't be standing unmasked, uh, cheek to unmasked jowl in a pre-vaccine December 2020, and nor would they think the whole thing was a complete and utter joke. So this leaves us with the question of their agenda then, the only other logical option left on the table. And given the huge numbers of people who died in care homes, um, along with the tens of thousands of ill non-COVID patients uh, who have died because they were unable to access our NHS, another question is raised. If the government's agenda whatever it is, is solely responsible for the deaths, the suffering and the misery uh, that could have been completely avoided had there been no political agenda, uh, does that not make every politician involved complicit, utterly complicit in corporate manslaughter, along with every corrupt scientist, every corrupt doctor, every corrupt journalist and every corrupt big tech platform owner who rather than question the politicians, actually went out of their way to enable this monstrous crime of the century, this most murderous of crimes against humanity? And if the answer to that is yes, another question raised would be how does this crime against humanity compare in historical terms with those of Mao, uh, Stalin or Hitler? And in my personal opinion, it's right up there with them. So I look forward to Nuremberg too, assuming we ever get our democratic freedoms back, of course. Uh, do please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please note that this uh, video will also be 
archived at my Rumble channel, which I'll leave a, a link to in the box underneath this video. And there's a possibility that I will not maintain my YouTube account, so, uh, so do please subscribe to my Rumble account as well, uh, just in case in the event of and all of that.